Hey guys, it's Aaron. We had a couple questions on how to create a new material that will be saved with your model or templates. We're going to take a look at doing that right now. So the question was not so much how do you import a material. We've covered that quite a bit um, to pull a material in as a texture, like an image or something like that. The question is if I have a specific color or I have a material that I want to bring in and make it part of you know, this dialogue over here. So it's there all the time. How do I go about that? So that's what we're going to take a look at doing today. We're going to do this twice, by the way. Uh, we're going to do it at Mac right now because that's what I have running. So we'll do Mac and then I'll switch over to the Windows machine and show you how to do it over there. Here we go. Okay, so first, just so we're all on the same page, importing a texture, file, import. And I can grab a, a file of you know, whatever material type and just import it and put it onto a face. That's how I import it. Importing a material or, or an image as a texture is only going to add that material to this model. Next model I start up, it won't be there. So what we want to look at is how do we get it over here? So when I bring up the paint bucket tool, I can drop that wallpaper I just saw right onto my screen. So let's look at how to do that. First off, let's figure out where we want to put it. So in Mac, I'm going to go to the location I want to put it first. I'm going to come over here to wallpaper. Well, actually carpet, fabrics, leathers, textiles, and wallpaper all in one. And I'm going to right click and hit new texture. After I hit new texture, I'm going to choose wallpaper. There's This is that JPEG file that I was just looking at before. Hit open and it's going to ask me for the size. So what size do I want to bring it at, in at? Um, it's showing the default size of the actual file right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And there we go. So at this point, if I come in here, put a rectangle on the ground, go to Paint Bucket Tool, I can pick that wallpaper and I can just apply it. And there we go. That's it. That's all there is to adding it. And because it's in this folder right now, it will be here every single time. So if I close this model, open a new one, it's going to be here. It doesn't matter. It's not like it's connected to the model itself or anything like that. It's now part of this. If there's a color I want to add, so say there's a specific red that I want to have in this group also. The way to do that on Mac is to first, this, there's actually maybe multiple ways to do it. This has been the easiest way that I've found is let's start by picking it. I'm going to pick it by hitting the little sampler from the lower right. That is different than in the paint bucket tool holding down the command key on Mac. That gets you uh, the eyedropper, which is going to allow you to pick a material to use in the paint bucket. This is the actual selector tool in the Mac dialog. And I'm going to choose, let's say I really want to get this red that's in this icon right here. I'm going to pick it. And what it's going to do is going to show up right here. When it's right here, or if you want to save it over here, you can kind of take it over and drop it, or just drop it right here. And that becomes a swatch in this group. Again, added to this group so it's part of your SketchUp. It is not necessarily just part of the model. If we want to remove any of these materials, I can just right click, hit remove, and it goes away. It's that simple. It really is very quick and easy. If you want to go through the process of actually creating one of these, so these are the set uh, folders basically that all of my materials, my textures sit inside of. If I want to create a new one, all I have to do is I do have to leave SketchUp for this. I'm sorry, but what you're going to do is go into your library, application support, the SketchUp installation you're working in. So I'm in SketchUp 2021, SketchUp, and then the materials folder. If you haven't done support, it will be blank. But now I can come in here and I can say new folder. And if there's whatever I want to put in here, so say I want to real concern about having a bunch of different kinds of tree bark, I could put that in there. Now, when I come back here, initially it's not going to show, of course, you know, because when SketchUp starts, it checks that material folder for these files. Right now there isn't one, so I'll need to restart. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, and here we are inside a brand new model. So I closed and restarted SketchUp. Now, if I bring up the paint bucket tool, I'll see if I drop this down. There's my tree bark folder. And there's nothing in there, it's just an empty folder at this point, but that's how I actually add those in. Next, let's take a look at Windows. Okay, so here I am inside of Windows. Um, 
it's a little this is going to look a little bit different because the material screen is different from what I see in Mac. In Mac, I have that floating window floating around. In here, material is actually part of a tray. So here I have it actually nested in my default tray. It's showing up here, very similar in the way it looks. It's gonna function, a lot of it functions the same way, but there's some key differences. The big difference that we're gonna look at here is for adding new materials. I'm gonna do two things. First thing I'm gonna do is hit this little plus button right here. That's gonna give me a secondary material pane. So here I have two material panes and they're showing two different things. So what I want to have active here is first thing is the in model materials. You can hit that by just hitting home and then where I want this new material to go. So here I'm going to open up my carpet, fabrics, leathers, textile and wallpaper group again. And I'm going to come up here then and hit plus. The create material, so rather than the plus up here is a little box with stripes on it and then a plus icon. This is create material and what create material lets you do is it's all in one. So before we did an import for uh, image material and then we use the eyedropper to pick the other. This is all in one. So in here I can come grab an exact color that I want using the color wheel or I can switch to HLS, HSB, RGB to actually define the values that create the color. Or I can hit use texture image, import the wallpaper I want to use, hit open. And then I can say, so whatever's in this box is going to get added then to my in model materials. So if I click OK, it shows up right here. And this is why it's cool to have two open at once because I can just say now grab this and stick it right here. And now that's in this group. So again, because it's part of it, so it being up here isn't going to matter because as soon as I start a new model, that's going to go away. Being down here, now this is part of all the time I open up SketchUp. That's new materials always going to be there to add a new folder. So if I want to add to these ones right here, I want to put something new in here. Uh, it's actually quite a bit easier than what we did over in Mac because there's a little bit of a shortcut. If I hit uh, details right here, I can say open or create a collection. This automatically launches my materials folder. So I can come up here to the list. Right now it's an empty list. I can right click and say new and add a folder and say uh, say a lot of model a lot of monkeys and I need a folder just for all my different monkey fur I can add that right there and then what that'll do is that'll actually put that into the list uh oh but if we look at this I don't see monkey fur guess what same thing as on Windows I am gonna have to restart SketchUp to see my monkey fur folder so let's do that right now Okay, so here we are inside of a brand new model. And if I come up over here, I have my in model material showing. If I drop that down, look at the very, very bottom, look at this. There's my monkey fur folder. So pretty easy to add that. So that's the process. It's not probably as bad as you were thinking, um, but obviously there's specific steps you do have to follow. I had this question, this question just keeps coming up. How do I add Nest Cam? How do I, how do I create Nest Cam? It's really not that difficult. It's really pretty easy to import materials or grab materials or colors, excuse me, and add those directly to the folders. And even creating new folders is pretty easy. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of each of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Most if not all of our content nowadays is created from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like to make more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.